carrying 50 amps of current has a 0.12 meter length between the poles of a 0.9 Tesla magnet, as shown in the figure below. So first of all, magnetic field always goes from north towards south. So the field in question is in this little gap here. So the field is moving from left to right, like that. And the current you can see is moving straight up. Now all we care about when we're looking at the force is the length of the wire in between those poles. So from here to here, they're telling you that length of wire that's immersed in that magnetic field is 0.12 meters. So we have the length we have the magnetic field strength and we have the value of the current and we're trying to figure out what is the force well force for a current carrying wire is B I L where B is the external magnetic field that's interacting with the magnetic field generated by the wire so B is always the external magnetic field I is the current and L is the length in between or sorry, immersed in the magnetic field. So very easy to calculate. Um, so we've got our magnetic field, which is 0.9 Teslas. So magnetic field is 0 0.90 Teslas. Current is 50 amps. And the length immersed in that external magnetic field is 0.12 meters. Now, the only criteria is that magnetic field and current have to be 90 degrees to each other, and they are, so it's all good. Work that through, and you get 5.4 newtons. Now, the direction depends on your right-hand rule. So, flat right-hand rule. Your fingertips will be pointed to the right to represent the magnetic field. Your thumb will be up to represent the current, and the palm of your hand will give you a force that's into the page.